meteors, black holes, those are child's play. If you really want to lose sleep, consider vacuum decay, the ultimate doomsday scenario. One tiny quantum fluctuation could trigger a chain reaction that rewrites the very laws of physics, erasing everything we know in an instant. No warning, no escape. This is one of the most unsettling possibilities in quantum physics. But how real is the threat? And if it did happen, what would it actually look like? The space around you looks empty, but it isn't. Every cubic centimeter is filled with invisible quantum fields that dictate how reality behaves. These fields aren't physical objects, they're more like mathematical grids stretching through all of space, assigning properties uh, to every point in the universe. The electromagnetic field determines how light behaves, the gravitational field shapes the motion of planets, and other fields control the behavior of particles too small to see. Particles like electrons and quarks aren't actually tiny solid balls, they're excitations in their respective fields, like ripples moving across the surface of a pond. When enough energy concentrates in a specific point of field, we detect it as a particle. The photon, for example, is just a vibration in the electromagnetic field. This means everything around you, your body, the chair you're sitting on, the air you breathe, is really just a dense collection of ripples in these underlying fields. The standard model of particle physics identifies 17 fundamental quantum fields, each corresponding to a different type of particle. Most of these particles exist fleetingly in high energy collisions or decay almost instantly. But four of these fields shape the stable observable universe, the up quark, down quark, and electron fields build atoms while the electromagnetic field binds them together. Without these fields, matter as we know it wouldn't hold together. All other fields remain hidden in everyday life because most particles either don't last long or don't interact with ordinary matter. Neutrinos, for instance, pass through Earth by the trillions every second without a trace because their field barely interacts with others. But their influence becomes apparent in extreme conditions like supernovae or particle colliders where rare interactions reveal these hidden layers of reality. Among these fields, one stands apart in its importance. The Higgs field does more than just exist in space. It determines whether particles have mass at all. Unlike other quantum fields that primarily produce particles, this one acts like invisible cosmic glue. When fundamental particles interact with the Higgs field, they experience resistance. The stronger their interaction, the more mass they exhibit. Electrons have a relatively weak interaction, making them lightweight, while top quarks, some of the heaviest known particles, interact so strongly they're nearly 300,000 times more massive than electrons. Before 2012, the Higgs field existed only in theory. Particle physicists predicted its existence to explain why some particles have mass while others, like photons, didn't. Now, think of it like this. A celebrity walks into a crowded room and people start gathering around them. The more attention they get, the harder it is for them to move. In this analogy, the celebrity is a particle and the people are the Higgs field. The top quark is like the biggest celebrity. Everyone crowds around, making it heavy. An electron is like a minor influencer. They get some attention, but not enough to slow them down much. And a photon is like someone no one recognizes. It slips through without interacting at all. The discovery of the Higgs boson at CERN's Large Hadron Collider confirmed the field's reality. The boson itself isn't the field, it's a ripple within it, like spotting a wave that proves the ocean exists. The Higgs field has a value of about 246 giga electron volts. This number might not mean much on its own, but it's critical because it sets the rules for how much mass particles have. If that value were different, even slightly, uh, the universe would look nothing like it does now. Atoms might not hold together, stars might not burn, and life as we know it couldn't exist. Without the Higgs field, everything would behave like photons. Electrons would move at light speed, never forming stable orbits around atomic nuclei. That means no atoms, no molecules, no chemistry, just a universe of particles racing past each other. The fact that we exist at all hinges on this invisible field holding everything together. But there's something unsettling about the Higgs field. It might not be completely stable. The mass of the Higgs boson, 125 Gfe, along with measurements of the top quark, suggest the field could be in a precarious state. 
In quantum field theory, a false vacuum is a hypothetical vacuum state that is locally stable but does not occupy the most stable possible ground state. In this condition, it is called metastable. It may last for a very long time in this state but could eventually decay to the more stable one, an event known as false vacuum decay. Here's how to picture our universe's current state. Imagine a ball sitting in a small dip on the side of a hill. The ball isn't at the very bottom, there's a much deeper valley further down. This is essentially what physicists mean when they talk about a false vacuum. Our universe might be in this kind of temporary stability right now, not quite at its lowest possible energy state. Most things in nature tend to settle into their lowest energy state eventually. Water flows downhill, balls roll to the bottom of valleys. But the Higgs field might be stuck in what we call a um, local minimum. It's stable for now and it could stay that way for an incredibly long time. But given enough time or the right nudge, it might suddenly tip over into a different configuration entirely. If that happens, the universe wouldn't just change slowly, it would happen instantly rewriting the rules of physics in a flash. So let's look at one of the ways that could trigger this. Quantum tunneling is a quantum mechanical phenomenon in which an object such as an electron or atom passes through a potential energy barrier that, according to classical mechanics, should not be possible due to the object not having sufficient energy to pass or surmount the barrier. Normally, if you want to move a ball from one valley to another, you'd have to roll it up and over the hill between them. But in quantum mechanics, particles can sometimes skip that step entirely. They tunnel straight through the barrier instead of going over it. Picture it like this, you're walking toward a solid brick wall. In the everyday world, you'd bounce right off. But if you were a quantum particle, there's a tiny but real chance you could suddenly appear on the other side. This isn't just theoretical. We observe quantum tunneling in nature. Electrons use it during photosynthesis and it sets hard limits on how small microchips can get. Now apply that to the Higgs field. Right now, it's in what we call a false vacuum state, like that ball sitting in the higher valley. There could be a lower energy state available, but getting there would require overcoming an energy barrier. Normally, that would prevent any sudden transitions, but quantum tunneling means the field doesn't necessarily need enough energy to go over the barrier. It could sneak through it instead. If this happened even in one tiny region of space, it would create what physicists call a bubble of true vacuum. The walls of this bubble would have enormous surface tension and the energy difference between the false vacuum outside and the true vacuum inside would cause the bubble to expand at nearly the speed of light. Calculations show the expansion accelerates so quickly that the wall essentially moves at light speed within moments of forming. Elementary particles passing through the bubble wall would likely decay into other particles or even form microscopic black holes. As physicist Sidney Coleman put it, vacuum decay is the ultimate ecological catastrophe. In the new vacuum, there are new constants of nature. After vacuum decay, not only is life as we know it impossible, so is chemistry as we know it. If the Higgs field were to transition to its true vacuum state, it wouldn't happen all at once across the universe. It would start as a microscopic bubble somewhere in space, maybe near a distant star, or in the empty void between galaxies. This bubble would be incredibly small at first, smaller than an atom, but it would contain within it the seeds of total transformation. The process is called bubble nucleation. It's like how ice crystals form in supercooled water. One tiny crystal starts the chain reaction that freezes the entire glass. In this case, it's not water turning to ice, but the very fabric of reality changing its fundamental properties. The bubble forms when a random quantum fluctuation gives the Higgs field enough energy to cross the barrier into its true vacuum state. Once that happens, the bubble grows uncontrollably. The walls of this bubble would expand at nearly the speed of light. There would be no warning, no time to react, just an instantaneous transformation of reality itself. The bubble wouldn't look like anything special from the outside. It would just be a boundary where physics abruptly changes. Cross that line and suddenly your atoms might not hold together because electrons no longer behave the same way. Or gravity might work differently. Or matter might not even exist in any recognizable form. Coleman and De Lucia's calculations suggest the universe inside the bubble might not even last long. Their paper noted it would be extremely unstable and likely collapse almost immediately. So not only 
would the bubble destroy our physics, but whatever replaced it might not be stable enough to form anything at all. Some distant observer might see our solar system wink out of existence, but we wouldn't have time to react or even comprehend what was happening. The energy driving this expansion comes from the Higgs field itself. As the field transitions to its true vacuum state, it releases potential energy that pushes the bubble's walls outward. This creates a chain reaction. Each new region that converts releases more energy to convert the next. The process is self-sustaining and unstoppable once it begins. But here's something interesting about these bubbles. They don't create gravitational effects as they expand. The negative energy inside is perfectly balanced by the positive energy of the moving wall. From the outside, you wouldn't see space warping or light bending. The only clue would be the sudden disappearance of everything the bubble touches. The equations of quantum field theory allow for this scenario, though the probability is extremely low. But there's one last question. Could black holes change this equation? Some theories suggest they could act as seats for this catastrophic process, destabilizing the Higgs field in their immediate vicinity. A 2017 study actually flipped this idea on its head. Instead of black holes causing vacuum decay, the research suggested something different. Bubbles of true vacuum might collapse into black holes rather than emerge from them. In this scenario, space-time could bend so severely around the decay that it pinches off, potentially creating an entirely separate universe. It's an odd idea. Not quite destruction, but more like the universe dividing itself at the quantum level. The relationship gets more complicated when you consider black holes that spin rapidly. A 2019 study found that these fast-rotating black holes might actually help stabilize false vacuums, decreasing the likelihood of decay nearby. It's counterintuitive. You'd expect the most extreme objects in the universe to make things more unstable, not less. But space-time dragged into rapid rotation around these black holes might create conditions that reinforce the Higgs field's current state rather than disrupt it. This leads to an important point. Not all black holes would affect vacuum decay the same way. Their mass, spin and charge all play roles in how they interact with quantum fields. A small, non-rotating black hole might have very different effects than a supermassive, rapidly spinning one. The physics here is complex and still being worked out, with different models yielding different predictions. Before you panic about vacuum decay, Here's some good news. The universe is unimaginably large. Even if a true vacuum bubble formed right now, the odds of it reaching us are astronomically low. Space isn't just big, it's expanding and that expansion works in our favor. Most of the universe is moving away from us faster than light, meaning a decay bubble would have to form relatively close by to ever reach us. But by the time it got here, the expansion might have carried its starting point so far away that the bubble could never catch up. The universe has been around for 13 13.8 billion years without collapsing and cosmic rays, natural particles with far more energy than anything we can produce, have been slamming into Earth for eons without triggering vacuum decay. If high energy collisions could destabilize the Higgs field, it would have happened already. Some people worry that particle colliders like the Large Hadron Collider might accidentally cause vacuum decay, but the LHC operates at energies far below what cosmic rays produce naturally. Protons from deep space hit our atmosphere with energies millions of times greater than anything we can create in a lab. If those collisions haven't caused a problem, there's no reason to think human-made experiments will. There's another factor working in our favor, distance. The nearest star is over four light years away and the Milky Way is 100,000 light years across. A vacuum decay bubble would take thousands of years just to cross our galaxy, let alone reach us from another one. Given how much empty space there is between galaxies, the chance of a bubble forming close enough to matter is almost zero. So while vacuum decay is a fascinating idea, it's not something to lose sleep over. The universe seems built to keep it from happening anytime soon if ever. Here's how to think about reality's fragility now that you've seen what vacuum decay could do. The universe works because of a precise balance. The Higgs field gives particles mass, forces operate at just the right strengths, and quantum fields maintain their current states. But as we covered earlier, these might not be permanent features. Our physics could theoretically tip over into something else entirely. 
The Higgs field remains stable for now, preserving the constants that let matter exist. Calculations suggest we're safe for timescales longer than stars will burn, but the possibility lingers, a reminder that the laws we take as fixed might be local quirks in a much stranger cosmos. For today, reality holds. Atoms stick together, gravity pulls, light travels at 300,000 kilometers per second. Whether these rules last forever or just until some quantum fluctuation changes them, we're here to wonder about it.